Hello everyone. So um, the CD108 mechanical keyboard is probably, I think, one of the last affordable Cherry MX keyboard available. It's um, This is already my third purchase of the exact same keyboard and model, which is the uh, CD108 Cher MX Cherry Bronchi switches. And the reason I bought this is um, at my wife's work, uh, everybody was fascinated by her keyboard that I give her for her office. And everybody else wants the same keyboard, so I keep purchasing those for her colleagues that also benefits on having a enjoyable typing experience using a pure mechanical keyboard. The price has stayed constant. It fluctuates between $79 to $89 for the same MX Bronchies, but I was able to get it just recently, January 2023 for $79. Now this one is a full black colored one, uh, version two of the CD108, extremely popular keyboard, um, and probably the only Cherry MX key, the genuine Cherry MX keyboard you can find for less than $100. Everybody else, like Logitech, has been making knockoffs and very cheaply made um, mechanical keys that just doesn't feel right okay if you want the best typing experience the cherry mx key in my opinion using them for decades is still the best key out there depending on your typing needs um, i always use mx brown because it offers a great compromise between typing and game playing but if you just type and you don't mind loud noises, the MX Blue is the best, best of the best for typing experience. If you play video games, you don't you don't care about typing experience, MX Red is probably your best bet. Okay, so I'm just taking the keyboard out, taking a look at the keys, and then we're gonna uh, do some sound test and typing uh, first impression for you guys. It's always nice that the CD108 includes a whole bunch of colorful keys. Um, what do you see here behind me is my desk keyboard 10 key less. Those keys are actually from here, okay? So um, just add some color, which is really, really nice that they, they include extra keys and also a very nice key puller right here, okay? And of course your cables are hidden. And it's, I mean, it's very plain packaging and that's, that's good because it saves energy and it saves the environment. Um, your standard fare, you have a plastic packaging and it's also very nice that they actually include a key cover. So for people who are gym phobic, uh, at the end of the day, they want to cover the keys before they leave the office. They can do that with this cover. Quite nice. Okay, I'm going to put everything aside. And we're just gonna focus on the keys. All right, let's see. Let's see if I can get closer. There we go. I mean, it's a very standard keyboard, traditional um, layout, very traditional layout. Now, interesting thing. Look at this function key. It's elevated. I don't know why. Okay, just push it back in. So. Let's actually test, see if I can pull the keycaps out. So the keycaps are very easy to pull out. I mean, even if you don't use any tools, uh, just making sure if it's genuine Cherry MX, which it is, which is very nice. Take a look here. Love those brown keys. Most of my keyboards are Cherry MX brown. And again, just typing experience. Oh yes. Fantastic typing experience. And very similar to my, you know, Dash 10 key less, obviously because they have the same keys. But sometimes, depending on the keycaps, um, you might have a different feeling um, of uh, accutation when you try to press it. Sometimes it feels a little bit more force. Sometimes it feels less. Now, those keycaps are actually, according to them, uh, PBT double shot. So you can see what the double shot means. It's, it's got two layers. So whatever text that's showing right here, it's gonna last you quite a long time. It's not gonna fade, okay? So 
as you wear this down, it's always gonna look very nice and sharp. And that's the benefit of a you know double shot plastic casting for those keycaps. And uh, also a good indication of a quality keyboard. So they definitely put some thoughts into using better components for this keyboard design. The top is fully plastic, okay? Um, the bottom is also plastic, um, but they did use some um, like weighted material inside the keyboard. The inside of the keyboard definitely have some metal pl like plates in there because it feels very heavy, okay? Um, same weight as the DAS, but the DAS obviously had a metal um, top and I'm not sure if it's got any metal casting underside, but in terms of weight, both of those keyboards actually feels about the same weight. Now the material, the, the construction is okay. I mean, you can kind of feel there, there are obvious play around the, the top and the bottom plastic casting, but again, just for those keys, I wouldn't mind too much about the top plastic. You can see there are some plates over there. So it's a, it's a fairly thin plastic, um, but again, it's, it's very usable, okay? On the back, let's take a look at the feet. What's also nice and very well designed is you got two different heights, okay? This is, again, big plus in my book, uh, just fully customizable to people and their preferences. For me, I always have those down. For my wife, she always wants like the tallest and maybe you're the guy that just kind of likes the middle position. Both of those positions has rubber feet and there are plenty of rubber feet paddings over here on two sides and on the bottom. Okay, so it's not gonna move around. Look at the cable. Very nice that they included a felt or a Velcro like a cable management um, tie over here. Uh, so definitely helps with like if you have a whole bunch of stuff in your back of your computer and you want to tie them up, you can use this one included, which is really nice. Um, and in terms of, you know, typing experience, I'm so familiar with brown keys. This just feels like another brown keyboard. You can hear there are barely any noticeable noise, noticeable clicking noise. You can hear some uh, noise when, when the key actually bottoms out. So if you're a heavy typer, yeah, you're gonna you're gonna hear some noise. And interestingly, for my actual desk keyboard, the noise of bottoming out is actually lower. And you know why? Because um, underneath here is actually metal. Okay, so the metal um, base plate definitely helps with dampening the sound. Um, on the CD108, it's slightly louder. Again, just because of the construction, it's more hollow. The sound actually travels a little further away. But is, is that a significant difference? No, not really. Uh, it's just slightly, very slightly louder than some of the more expensive and metal, uh, more metal, you know, uh, base plates on some of the keyboards. Just my observation. But in terms of typing, exactly the same. You have the standard keys at the bottom. Um, function keys right here. Now, what I always love about CD108 is the fantastic, most useful access keys right here. You got a calculator key, extremely useful, especially for office. You have volume up and down, very quick controls. And most important, you have a direct access mute button, okay? That's like definitely a buy in my book. A lot of other keyboards, more expensive ones, doesn't include those access keys. Now, if you look at the 10 key less, obviously I have to press one extra key on the function and then put my hand over here to adjust the volume, which is like a huge hassle. And it doesn't have the calculator access, which I actually use quite often, okay? So again, very, very well designed and thought uh, thoughtful keyboard design. Now, in the next section, I'm just gonna do a quick typing test for you guys to see, um, or just to hear how the keyboard sounds uh, during the actual use. And we'll also just quickly, com quickly compare with my desk keyboard. We're gonna do a one minute typing test, okay? Um, okay, so let's see if I'm centered. You guys can hear the sound. 
and see the text. Let's see. And let's start. Ready? Here we go. All right. Um, yeah, we did pretty good. Um, you know, 94 words per minute, with like my absolute first time on this keyboard. Um, I would say very enjoyable typing experience. As you can also hear, uh, I told you that if you are a heavy typer, you bottom out quite a lot, it's gonna be slightly louder. But during the actual use, I'm not that heavy, so it's actually extremely quiet. I'm like, uh, you know, three foot away, I can barely hear any sound of myself typing, okay? So that's how it sounds on this keyboard. Again, I love it. Uh, what I would suggest, because of the higher profile, is you go find something for yourself that's slightly higher, so you, your hand is not being hand so high um, in the air when you're trying to type. For me, I always like my keyboard to be as low profile as possible. So I think this kind of like a hand rest definitely helps. That's just my suggestion. Again, this one doesn't come with a keyboard. I just have it with my desk as well. All right, so we're done with the uh, typing test on this keyboard. Next, I'm gonna actually just pull out my desk. I wanna type it and uh, get a feel um, on my own keyboard and see what the speed is compared to the other one. And again, we're gonna do the same test, okay? one more time and I'm gonna get myself more more comfortable by using this and we're gonna start Guess what? Exact same speed, 94 minutes words per minute. Um, I almost feel like it's actually more comfortable to type on this uh, traditional full-size keyboard um, as opposed to my desk, but that's just a personal feeling. Obviously, my typing performance hasn't been affected. Why? Because it's the exact same key switch. That's, I think, the major determinant factor of typing speed, at least in my excuse me, at least in my book, okay? So um, there you have it. Like if you guys are thinking about wanting the best typing experience in your office setting or you play some video games and uh, um, you're just tired of using a really crappy like $15 keyboard, this is your best option. And this is the most affordable, okay? Most affordable genuine Cherry MX key switch keyboard you can get for only... $80, $79.99 or something like that. I highly suggest this 
for anybody, for anybody, literally. Like if you haven't used a mechanical keyboard, uh, buy it, you won't regret your decision, okay? It's the best decision in your life if you work with computer a lot. Hope you guys found this video helpful. Um, also check out my other video um, if you're interested at modifying your keyboard because uh, this Cherry MX keys, um, you can get a different kinds of keycaps for it. You can get different colors of keycaps for it. Um, just spending a little extra money, um, you will have an entirely different looking keyboard based on Cherry MX keys and a little bit of customization. So yeah, there you have it. Questions, comments, ask me in the comment section down below. If you found this video helpful, please do hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. I hopefully um, in the future will have more similar contents out for you guys. Thanks again and see you in the next video. Take care.